Your BMW Active E batteries are a lot like maple syrup. To ensure optimal performance and enjoyment, they must be at the ideal temperature. With syrup, it may only take seven seconds in the microwave to get that perfectly delicious flavor. And before you take off with your Active E, it's best to take some time to achieve an ideal battery temperature. You can set your Active E to begin preconditioning at a certain time, whether you're connected to a 240 volt charging station or merely relying on your battery alone. Please note that preconditioning while connected to a 240 volt charging station is the best way to preserve your car's driving range. During months when weather can take a drastic turn, it's especially helpful to use preconditioning while connected to the grid. For instance, if you're leaving for work at 8 a.m., you can set the process to begin up to an hour in advance to fully remove any frost from the car's windshield and get the cabin nice and toasty without taking away from any charge levels. You won't need to use the cabin heater as much, and your battery will also be closer to the optimal temperature, helping to maintain range. To set preconditioning, go to Main Menu, Settings, and Climate. Here, you'll be able to choose to precondition now or select a certain time to begin setting your cabin to a comfortable temperature, as well as getting your battery temperature optimized for the most efficient energy usage. Whenever you want to use preconditioning, the settings will need to be re-entered each time. Remember, if you have enough power left in your battery, you can still precondition your Active E for up to 15 minutes, even when you're not connected to an external 240 volt power source. This method will take away some of your battery charge and therefore decrease your range, but you will still be able to optimize the cabin's temperature for greater comfort. Plugged in preconditioning can be the secret to a comfortable ride with a happy battery, all of which leads to increased efficiency and a happier electronaut.